Yeah, guys, going to talk about Lazar stock price action. Lazar stock price action today, guys, after I made um, made a trade. I was just checking the patterns, the price action. I found uh, a few reoccurring patterns or one reoccurring patterns, pattern that occurred several times let's just look at it guys we're talking about Lazar Lazar stock Luminar Technologies so you can open the pattern yourself we're looking at the day chart we're going to be looking at the day chart of Luminar Technologies let's look at the price action of Luminar I don't want to move where I've put the points <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys let's have a look this is all madness i know i know i know it's madness but what can you do let's just have a look guys i'm just going to show you this before i take the before i take the um what do you call it the blue tack before i remove the blue tack guys i know this is madness but i don't i don't know how to I don't know how to set this on the screen, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I, I, I haven't got time to look into it. Anyway, look, I just want to show you something. Yeah, we're on the day chart. Every candlestick here represents a day. And um, let me just show you, like, in case you don't believe me. Oh, we're up there. See it there, D. Day. There you go, guys. There. So I spotted some pattern, reoccurring pattern. Might be nothing, but sometimes they do work. I just want to show you, like, we're going to take it from here first. We've got four red days in a row. I'm going to take it from here first. These two green, two green days of Lazar stock. We're going to go two, and then a red, then a green, then a red. But we're going to take it from here, right? The two green. Remember, there's two green, then red, then green. All right? So we're going to basically take, take it from there. And we're going to see if there's any, you know, similar patterns. Starting with the two, two green days. All right, that's what's you know important. So let's go back, and we can see here. You've got right the pattern here, right? Two two green in a row. Remember, it's two two green then red green, two green, red green, and you've got two red days. Well, so far there's one red day which is still live. I mean, anything can happen. It could turn into a green, so that will, then the pattern would all be wrong. But assuming it stays red, like, you know, up to the close. So you've got two, two green, red, green, then it goes two, red. Now, if it goes red tomorrow as well, here, then that means that pattern would be, that would replicate this pattern here. And then what happened after that anyway, after these two red days, it basically went down a bit for one, two, three, four, four days, although, although obviously that's green, it spiked up. But nonetheless, let's just look at what happened. After, after it went down another day in red, of course it went lower, but what happened was it just shot up, basically. Not that long after the second red day, well, you can call this a red day as well, if you want, because it went lower. But really, it's green because it's obviously, you know, recovered the previous trading day. But let's just look at what happened, basically. We've got one, two, three, four trading days, which was the bottom, you know. And then it took off. You know, it took off and then it's like four, five, six, seven. So basically it spikes up, you know, 
and you know if you was buying here or here obviously you would have made a sort of small profit went up to over over a dollar and it was what 90 and 85 roughly 90 and 85 depends where you bought but you may have bought lower if it went lower but anyway that's one reoccurring pattern you might find interesting i don't know if you will find it interesting or whatever and then the other one is here where you've got two green days and then remember red green and then red which would be sort of today if that pattern rep you know repeated and then another red day which if the pattern repeated tomorrow that would be the red day there and then what happened it shot up shot up huge you know it went from you know basically there um let's see where that is so you've got two two green and red green and it went as low as you know on the second red day that's one dollar 35 cents and what happened it shot right up obviously like over the several trading days so two dollars 31 so it gained a dollar it gained a dollar and that's the other pattern i've found that if it repeats you know those there there are the two patterns um maybe nothing you know you might think it's all madness but sometimes they do repeat i mean obviously like you, there might be other patterns that probably is on the week chart you know like the one week chart i changed the chart i could find patterns on the one week chart but anyway i thought you might find it interesting um in, in regards to the price action of luminar technologies you know lazar thought you might find it interesting because sometimes these sort of patterns do repeat and they can be you know that you can they can be a good indicator not the sole indicator obviously you can't just look at patterns like that but they can be can be interesting anyway um other than that and i'm not telling you to buy but that's one of the reasons i bought you know one of the reasons i bought well generally i didn't really spot that to after i bought but i'm just looking at the act price action as you saw in my previous video i just really looked at the price action as i said that it went, you know, when it's like going like low here, it's gone back up. You've got, you've got a good percentage there, profit, if you're going long. And it's gone back down here and then it goes up again, another move. You know, same here, you could buy here, it goes up here, you've got a nice profit. And then it goes low here, goes up here, another nice profit. So I'm just following the general ups and downs, really. The price action nothing too complicated and that's why i bought here you know in my previous video you could see that's why i bought down here because i'm uh i'm, I'm, I'm confident that it's gonna go up but anyway holding for the long term if it doesn't i'll just add it to what i already bought on this account uh my average is 81.75 on this account but you know in my previous video i just bought at what was it 77 luminar technologies you can go and check something like 77 so average but i'm just looking for a quick quick profit on that other account you know a quick um 10 or 15 percent up to 15 maybe Obviously, like if it goes wild, springs up, rockets, goes to the moon, I'm not going to cash it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to cash it so quick. But I see what happens, guys. And I just thought you'd find that interesting. Sometimes that those patterns, you know, they replicate. 